What's up, Dostos? What's up, my dude? Man, it's like, it's really hard to get you to do this interview, man. <laughs> What's going on with you, man? You seem pretty busy, my dude. Yeah, man, you know me. I'm always grinding. I'm always trying to make a dollar, you know what I mean? That's good. I like the sound of that, man. So tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Okay, well, for the people out there in TV land, you know what I'm saying? I go by the name of Dostos, CEO of Steel 9 Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Steel 9 is the team, you know what I'm saying? The hottest record label in North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? Soon to take over the whole U.S. Real talk, believe that. Man, I like the sound of that, man. So, so where you from, man? Well, you know what I'm saying? I'm sprinkled all over, you know what I'm saying? I, but but I'm from North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? I rep North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? I rep Burlington, you know what I'm saying? I rep Greensboro, you know what I'm saying? I rep all the surrounding areas, you know what I'm saying? I rep Philly, you know what I'm saying? Philadelphia all day, every day. You know what I mean? I feel you. I feel you on that. So how long have you been doing music? Man, how long I've been doing music? I've been doing music since I was probably about in the sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? It, it started in it started in middle school where my middle school teacher used to give us like 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying, in class before class started. to We used to beat on the desk. And she used to listen to us freestyle every day in class, you know what I'm saying? So it started, it started there. Yeah, I see that. I see that. You're coming a long way. I like that. So, tell me a little bit about Steel 9 Entertainment. You know, I heard some drama going on about the name Steel 9 Entertainment. Tell me a little bit about that. Do you mind, you know, touching up on that? Yeah, I don't mind touching up on that. Well, like, you know what I'm saying? To keep it all the way 100, Steel 9 Entertainment was originally originated from a dude named Matthew Harris and Tim Harris. They actually came up with the name Steel 9 Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? It was my man Phantom. He used to be my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Phantom. I still love you, bro. But uh, when I was when I was in prison, you know what I'm saying? They came up with the name Steel Nine Entertainment. You know, because we used to be Asiatic Acrobats, Double A for short. You know what I'm saying? That album, The Arrival, was a classic. If you ain't heard The Arrival, you need to go on SoundClick and check out Asiatic Acrobats, The Arrival. You know what I'm saying? It's a classic. So, like, when I come home, you know what I'm saying, in, in 2010, you know, I touched ground and, and uh, I linked back up with my peoples and they was like, yo, we ain't we ain't the acrobats no more. You know what I'm saying? We, we still not in entertainment. So, you know, I, I took the name and, 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 and embraced it, you know what I'm saying, because it was hot, you know, but, like, just keeping it all the way real, it's like, man, when I came out out of prison, it's like my whole ambition, my whole drive, it just changed and it's like, Back in the day when we were doing it, we were doing this for fun. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, this I'm trying to this this is this is me. This is my life. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't a game. You know, so my man had the had the name, had the name, uh had a little buzz going around in, in, in Burlington, you know what I'm saying? Um but I just decided that that I needed to take this to outside of Burlington, you know what I'm saying? Take right. it to the next level. I ain't I've always been bigger than Burlington. I ain't never been better than Burlington, but I've been bigger than Burlington. You know what I'm saying? If people watching, seeing the moves that I make, they can tell that what I'm speaking is the truth. You know, but so the beef came about when I got the name copyright, you know, because I want I did it to protect us. Because at the time we was together, you know what I'm saying? We was recording tracks, you know what I'm saying, we was making moves, you know, but it, it just came a, a point in time where he just felt like, yo, he ain't want to rock with me no more. You know what I'm saying? And he told me, he sent me a text message, was like, yo, he ain't really want me to rep the name no more. You know what I'm saying? And all that. But I ain't really getting ready to go. You know what I'm saying? In too much detail about that. You know, but I had already took the name, you know what I'm saying? And got it outside of North Carolina where people outside of North Carolina know who Steel Nine was. And like, I put a lot of bread behind the name. You know what I'm saying? It's like he ain't put... He ain't put one coin behind it, even though they did come up with the name, you know what I'm saying, keeping it real talk, you know, but I put the bread behind it, you know what I'm saying, I put the legal paperwork behind it, the business part behind it, you know, and that's something that he just didn't do, so it was either we let the name go, you know what I'm saying, and just throw away all the money and all the hard work I put into it, or just keep pushing on, I chose to keep pushing on, you know what I'm saying, I, I love them dudes like they my brothers, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't just say that, you know what I'm saying, for the camera or whatever. That's just real talk. You know what I'm saying? He know it and I know it. It's just sometimes in life, man, you have the wrong people around you. And 
And if people can't see the vision, if they ain't going the same direction you going, you know what I'm saying? You need to, you need to, you need to just, just let them be, you know? So it's, it's just, I don't agree with a lot of, a lot of people that he have around him because they're not good for him. Not everybody, you know, but it's a few that be around him that's really not for him. You know, they leeches, you know what I'm saying? And I say that, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. And, and if you feel like I'm talking about you, I really am. I'm in the streets every day. Y'all know how I get down. It's just, don't don't let this camera fool you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this pretty smile. I really get it in. All right, cool. I like the sound of that. You you speak out on being in prison and stuff, man. Can you go in detail and tell me about all that good stuff? Oh, man, ain't nothing good about that. You know what? I'm second thought, it was something good. This might sound crazy, but actually, prison was probably the one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life. I know y'all out there like, what? Really? Like, yeah, real talk, because I used to be wild. I used to be real, real crazy, a live wire. Didn't care about nothing, didn't respect life, didn't respect my life, you know. But when I went to prison, I left in, like, 05, you know, and I did, like, a little over five years, you know what I'm saying, my my first bid, you know what I'm saying. I don't plan on going back, you know what I'm saying, unless I have to, you know. But um, I learned a lot when I was in there, you know, um, I went in when I was 25, and I came home when I was like 30 years old, you know, so, but but prison, it made me a better person, you know, when I was in there, I had a lot of time to just reflect, take a step back and look at my life, you know what I'm saying, and make some changes, I don't look at it like, like God gave me a second chance, because he gave me a thousand of those, he just gave me another chance, you know what I'm saying, to get it right, so I'm going to make the best of this opportunity, like right here, you know, so, being away from my family, being away from my daughter, you know what I'm saying? I, I really came to terms with myself and, and realized what life is all about. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to have have fun. It's okay to party and do all that stuff right there. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's you got to stay close to home. You got to stay the roots. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's pretty much what it is about that. I went to prison because you know um, I had a shootout with the police department. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, people that know me, they know that's actually a true story, you know what I'm saying, where it went down. I'm glad that nobody gets shot and I ain't hit nobody because I probably wouldn't still be talking to you right now. I probably would still be locked up. You know, that's not something I'm proud of or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no gangster or none of that stuff like that, you know, but, you know, that's just, that was the old me, you know what I'm saying? This is the new me right now. I'm a businessman. If you want to talk business or do business, come get at me, you know what I'm saying? And maybe we can make some money together. That's good. So, uh, what's the best advice you ever received? The best advice that I ever received is probably believe in myself. You know, because if I don't believe in me, I'm going to make somebody else believe in me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Always trust me. Always trust my instinct. You know what I'm saying? And do what's right. You know, so... I got a lot of good advice from some people that was locked up, like a man I was locked up with, you know what I'm saying, he had life sentence, he beat death row, his name was Kenneth Freeman, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Kenneth Freeman, shout out to Issa Green, shout out to my nigga, Matty Rich, that's locked up, shout out to my man, Prophet, you know what I'm saying, I can't wait till you come home, my dude, you know what it is, uh, let me see, shout out to Mr. J. You know what I'm saying? At Hornet, shout out to all the... Matter of fact, shout out to everybody that's locked up right now, that's incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? This is the reason why I do this. I do this for y'all. I do this for my dudes that's locked behind the gate. You know what I'm saying? The ones that ain't never coming home. I do this for the people that's going through the struggle. You know, that's what that's what Steel Nine is about. When you think of the name Steel Nine, it ain't really got nothing to do with, like, a gun as far as Steel Nine. You know, we're not killing people with bullets. We're killing people with bars, you know what I'm saying, with like musical, with words. You know, it ain't it ain't about a gun going out here shooting somebody or killing somebody. It ain't about that. It's about the knowledge. It's about the words, you know what I'm saying, real hip-hop. That's what Steel Nine Entertainment is all about. That's good. Like, so who influenced you musically? Like, who did you listen to while you were growing up and stuff? Oh, while I was growing up, growing up, you know, I was listening to... You know, if you want to go way back, you know what I'm saying, it's just just to name a few out. I used to listen to Run DMC. I used to listen to the Beastie Boys. I used to listen to Wu Tang. I used to listen to Big. I used to listen to to Jay. You know, I used to listen to Busta Rhymes. I used to listen to 
uh, Trap Called Quest, you know, uh, the Fuji's, you know, it's, it's, it's like so, so many, you know what I'm saying, just real hip-hop. What you hear today on the radio, you know what I'm saying, it's not hip-hop. You know, I ain't knocking nobody that's getting their money. I congratulate you. Keep getting your money. You know what I'm saying? But it's the difference between hip-hop and the stuff that you hear nowadays on the radio. But that's not hip-hop. All right. So, in the game right now, all those new cats coming out, I mean, who do you really like nowadays, you know? Who do you listen to? Who do I listen to nowadays? I listen to my Steel Nine artists. I listen to my squad, Iron Curtain World. Big shout out to Supreme Intellect. Big shout out to Black Ink. Big shout out to Popcorn. You know, I listen to Swag. You know what I'm saying? I listen to myself. You know what I'm saying? I got I got the greatest producer, you know what I'm saying, behind the board. Neri the producer. Shout out Neri. What's going on, my G? Y'all know y'all know what it is. Still not entertainment. That's good. So who do you look forward to working with in the future and all that good stuff? I look forward to working with anybody who's 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 willing to do good music. If you're willing to do good music and you ain't on that bubblegum stuff, because that bubblegum ain't going to pop too much longer. We're getting ready to flood and drown that out. You know what I'm saying? So y'all keep doing that all up in the club, that booty shaking and popping and all that molly stuff. You ain't going to hear none of that coming from over here. It's just going to be street, that uncut. You know what I mean? That straight raw. Like that. Thorax. Thank Shout you. out to Thorazine, too. What's going on with your Super Thor? One, what is one thing you have not, uh, left to say? How do you ask you? How do you want to tell the people out there that is watching this right now? You can find us at www.reverbnation.com slash label slash steel nine entertainment. Go to that web page. Go check us out right there. We have we have everything on that page right there. So you can find us. Or if you see me in the streets, I'm in the streets every day. You know what I'm saying? Riding around, you know what I'm saying? Riding around, and I'm getting, you know, I, I ain't hard to find. I'm everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But before we cut this short, you know, I want to give a shout out to a few more people, you know what I'm saying, that, that I got love for. First and foremost, shout out to Miss Dosha. Hey, boo, you know what it is. All right? Shout out to my cousins that's in New Jersey, Patterson. What's up, Jermaine? What's up, Terrence? You know what I'm saying? Get at me. I'll at me. You know what it is. Um, Shout out to my cousin, Corey. You know, uh, shout out to Izzy. What's going on with you? You know what it is, little cuz. We getting it in. You know, um, shout out to my cameraman friends. You know what I'm saying? That that's my man. My man is a beast when it comes to doing those videos. I really need to get at him. You know what I'm saying? Better yet, you can call me and we set something up. You know what I'm saying? He'll shoot your video too. Make you a, make you into a star. You know, but uh. Just shout out to everybody who rock with me, you know what I'm saying, that's for me. Matter of fact, shout out to my haters out there, too, because I know somebody's going to watch this and be like, oh, man, that think he this, he think this. Now, nah, I don't think I'm this, I don't think I'm that, I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? And you should do the same, because I ain't worried about what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing me. You're going to continue to do me. Continue to get money. That's all I do. Last but not least. Shout out to Puerto Rican J. Shout out to T. Ross. Shout out to Mike Smith. Shout out to Marcus from Special Touch. Go by there and holler at them. They're a beast over there on the cars. Shout out to my man Rio. Shout out to Antonio Mims. What's up, boy? You know I love you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my little nephew, Jayon, with his badass. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Life. Shout out to schoolboy out in Texas, Danny Garcia. What's up, boy? You know what it is. You know, and everybody else, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at y'all. Until the next time, Steel Nine Entertainment. It's the squad. Salute.